Hey GTI fans, welcome to another series of Imperial Galactic Survival Alpha 10. This is going to be Season 3 of Alpha 10. I have decided to go ahead and <laughs> I fixed uh, some stuff in my generic land excuse me, generic brand galaxy scenario. Um, I added another starting planet. I just haven't changed the picture yet. There's actually five starting planets. I haven't updated the scenario yet, and I will as soon as I test this with you guys. This is an alien planet start <laughs> um, with no PDA missions. So everyone wanted... Uh, I had some comments. I had some other in other chats and Discord and stuff. People people wanted a difficult alien start planet with with like nothing except for you know food to start off with. So I had to. I was figuring out how could I do this and make it so that they have a chance. And so I did make a little bit of a crash site biome. Um, that's just so that there's some food available to pick. It's really it's really hard to get any food on the alien planets, actually. So I also changed the deposits to the starting type of deposits. Now you notice that I added that there is cobalt, pentaxid, and magnesium on the planet. The reason why I did this is there's no moon to this particular planet. This planet in, is basically a, uh, let's go into the custom settings. I'm going to show you what I have set here. Um, this pl starting planet has no other faction except for Xerax on it. And they, uh, it, the, the idea is just to try and escape the planet. So you get no PDA missions. They're, it's all super tough, basically alien difficulty planet. Um, and no oxygen. It's a low radiation one, though, so that you can survive in a, in a light suit. Um, now the temperature can, can go beyond the max, the min max of the suit. So you might have to use, uh, other methods, you know, the heater cooler. So here we go. Let's just jump in. This is going to be GBG, uh, alien start. Okay. So this is the seed I'm using. It doesn't really matter so much. Uh, it's a static play field. This, this whole solar system now is static. Uh, I originally dynamically generated all the templates for all everything. And um, that was problematic. So let's, let's just do this. Custom alien start. That's good. That's good. Survival. Here we go. Let's just jump in. Um, the reason I had to set it to static was dynamically, dynamically allowing the solar system to generate. I I would have to script in a way to do that without um, the planets getting the same size as the starting planet, and the moons were actually some of the moon types starting planet size of three and four could be problematic. So uh, I stopped that. I, I made it. I made fixed planet sizes for everything, f static play fields. And you know what? Realistically, this scenario, what I'm building it for is my multiplayer server anyway. It's more I make I make a single player scenario and then I kind of flesh it out for multiplayer at that point. And so right now I'm just testing the single player portions of it. It takes a long time for the planets to generate. Um, I have a really good computer too. So anyone on a potato, this could take like 10 minutes or something. <laughs> just saying. Uh, but you got to listen to me gab. Yeah. Come on. So... Yeah, <laughs> you can see it's a little bit of a larger um, scenario because there is over 60 play fields. Now, I did test this in Alpha 10 Experimental. Uh, I found a bunch of play fields that were broken, and I think I have fixed them now. So 
you know, as I as I play through this a bit before I publish it again, before I publish the changes that I've done. Um, Okay, so we got to find a safe spot. There's a lake there, but there's a large drone. Okay, so I think we want to... Let's spin around. What's over this way? Another lake with... Like, lava? Shore? That's not good. Let's go over this way then. I saw, I saw water the shore way up this way. And okay, so this is a custom generated alien planet that I've added a bunch of custom stuff like this crash site. The I tried to make it as alien looking as possible. I think I did an okay job on it. Okay, so let's go back and we're just going to take a look. We're going to grab the water out of here and we got to think about yeah the radiation I know it's only 4.2 and on medium difficulty settings it slowly creeps up on you but it should give you enough time to oh. you know what maybe we I'm not really sure now where to go <sighs> okay, this is going to be freaky. I guess let's get our stuff together. We start with survival tool, water and O2 condenser, portable heater cooler, tent, some, some energy bar. You know what? Let's eat that right now. We're going to keep, you know what? Let's do a health pack. I'm not really sure when we're going to be able to find more um, health. I think I remember seeing, I think I did add in the uh, honey, honey to this biome. I don't see any though. I made everything kind of scarce. Oh, there's a honey thing over there. Good. So there is going to be ways of healing, but. Okay, I think we really want to figure out where we want to go. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think we do want to head south. Although... I don't know if going into that... See, I think... I think that is all super hot territory. So we're not going to... Uh, I don't know. I don't know now. There's drones over there. They're going to come after us. I think we have to go this way. We have to go north, right? Is it north? No, I'm all mixed up. We want to go up along here. So we want to go east, this way. Got to stay away from there. We're going to come up along there. Okay. Okay, let's collect stuff on the way. And the radiation is going to get annoying, I know. But we'll collect what we can. We've got weight enabled. So I think the goal is to try and, you know, obviously hit second level really quick. And then, uh, did we start with some biofuel? Yeah, we got a couple of biofuel. So it's not, we're not really in a big panic to set up oxygen. I'd rather find a, a stable place somewhere. Okay. Sorry, I just had to get some water. My mouth was sticking together. Ooh, okay, we got a deposit. Let's see if there's drones. There's not drones at that one. So I think we're we're gonna head over to that deposit first. Let's get all this copper along the way, right? Excellent. So let's turn our jetpack on and that way we can we can jet a bit. a little faster. 
Now I just want to, I'm not going to pick up a lot of crushed stone at this point because I think we're going to end up digging up a bunch. So, oh, and copper too. Nice. Okay. So that's really good. And that's over by the water? Well, not really. Okay, so maybe we've got to go to the, maybe we'll go to the south water then. We'll go do the iron and then, uh, and then we'll go for the copper and see if we can hit the water. There might be a place on the shore where we can get to the water without cooking in the lava. These alien plan planets have really bizarre uh, texture layers to them too. So like, you might dig down a bit and like hit ice. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Let's get this copper. Now, I did make it possible. Okay, there's some corn dogs. I'm like, I know I put in food. And another copper. And no drones. Okay, lucky. I'm lucky. I am lucky. Okay, so let's get this iron. We're almost there. I don't see any critters. Now, we should have 48 hours since landing. 48 game hours, which is uh, two hours of real time, I guess. Um, that. We can start digging down here. Before all the nasty stuff starts happening, like the acid rain and patrol vessel. So, and it's a real nasty patrol vessel from what I remember. It ain't no pushover one. Like the old Omicron one. Remember that one with just, just a bunch of sentry guns on its belly that you could shoot out? Yeah, I don't think it's one of those. I think it's one with like, with like, plasma cannons on it so uh this could be get really really bad now i haven't done an alien start in like a long 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 time so hopefully we can pull this off what i should have done is had the thing collecting oxygen right now while i'm digging this but too late now because i'm almost probably getting close to what I want to carry with me. Uh, 33, let's get some more. I just don't want to overload myself with with one type of ore and then be screwed, right? So, I have to drop it all. What was that noise? Another thing about the alien planets is the, the noises get really creepy. I mean, right now in the crash site, I guess I should have made a creepier noise for the crash site instead of birds singing. <laughs> I'll have to look at changing that, I think. Change it to something, uh, one of the alien noises, one of the creepy alien noises. Okay, what are we at here? 80? 80, that's 160 refined, that's tons. Let's, let's get out of here. Daylight is burning. Okay, so where are we going? That copper, was it that one? Or the one, no, this one. So that one, okay. Now we gotta be careful, cause there could be Stuff, stuff, there's no grace period anymore, so baddies are, have already spawned. We're just lucky to have not found any yet. And I think the baddies on this planet, we, we have no choice but to run. We can't, we can't face it with the survival tool. Anything on this planet is pretty much instant death if we try and fight right now. Let's grab this. 
I'm going to get too close to the forest. I can't really see in there. Keep heading down. I'd like to find some silicone. Maybe we'll find some in the water. Okay. So I did put some on the shore, I believe. I put silicone bearings on the shore. So we should be able to find some. I can't remember if I put them on the uh, crash site, though. To tell you the truth. Well, obviously it was copper and copper, but <laughs> that's all we've seemed to found so far. Copper and stones. It's a different biome. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, it's all... There's no birds singing anymore. Yeah, I don't know if I like the, those noises. Monster noises. Let's go over here where it's pleasant bird singing. <laughs> I need to pick more uh, stuff anyway. Copper's right underneath this. We'll just grab it. Grab this here. Okay. So, let's dig down. It's uh, a pretty good angle there. Go. So I'll we'll probably want to get about the same amount, depending on the weight, I guess, right? Keep in mind, we've got to get some logs, too. That's going to weigh us down. And we will need some stone. Not much. At 61, almost there. Okay. So I thought I saw some big chunks coming in. I'm like, oh, we're collecting this really fast. Come on. And just a bit more. Okay, that might have done it. Yeah, it's close enough. Okay. And we'll jump out as our camera freaks out. And nothing around to kill us. Nice. Okay. There is, oh, there is water down there. So that's a burnt area there. This is an unburnt area here. It looks like there's an unburnt area in the water. So let's head over that way. Yeah. So that shore over there. our weight at 376 that's okay we got to start thinking about our oxygen pretty soon and in fact I should probably let's just take some right now oh we can also make let's make some energy bars out of this plant protein that we got picked flower. Not sure what good that's going to do us, but Okay, so so far so good. No uh no critters yet. I'm a little I'm a little worried that maybe Maybe it's broke, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. We head down into this biome area, and don't really like the trees so much; it's harder to see. Letting you guys experience the noises.
Mushrooms. Nice. Help with healing. Oh, it sounds like there's creatures all around me. I just... Oh. Whew. This is really playing on my nerves, actually. <laughs> and the constant rattle of the frickin' of the radiation thing. Oh, what's our temperature like here? 21. Not bad. Okay, okay. So we can survive this. Good. Okay, well, what is this? Oh, this is shore. Okay. Uh, we might be able to... There we go, silicone. <laughs> I was just going to say, we might be able to find some silicone. Grab this. And you can see seaweed down there. I think that's going to be our plan, is to head into the... We'll grab as much as we can of the silicone here. And... Do these things give us wood? Let's see. Looks like they might. Uh, yeah, two logs. Okay. That's good. Well, let's go along the shore here and collect uh, wood and silicone before we head in. Head into the water. Now, the water might have some of those Torella uh, thingies. Trellella pod? I don't know. Telra, tela, tela something pod? <laughs> Tentacle creature, okay? So I gotta be wary of that when I go in the water. I'm not sure. I think the acid rain cannot penetrate the water, so we might be okay. And, okay, so there's silicone in. Yeah, there's silicone in the shallows here. Now, from what I remember, that's where those critters hang out is the shallows. So I gotta keep. They're really freaking sneaky, they. Is it just one? Yeah. The noises are just creepy. Okay, obviously. I had to put seaweed on the planet because, you know, without seaweed, probably can't do the scenario. I didn't add any of the other stuff. I just added the seaweed. So all this other stuff, the rocks, um, the pentaxid, all that is already on an alien planet. But the seaweed wasn't. I actually added it. So, oh, Promethean Stone. I didn't know there was Promethean Stones on the alien planet. Okay, well, sweet! Well, this is awesome. This is a good find. This will get us... Well, we don't have to worry so much about the uh, wood now. We'll just save it for construction, for the plant fiber. Yeah, because there's another stone right there. I think we might be able to uh, get enough fuel from just Promethium in the ocean here. That's cool. It takes a long time, but it's cool. Come on. There we go. Seven and nine, or was that nine in total? Sixteen. Wow. And we're getting full now. So what do we add on... Silicone 21, not bad. We need more silicone. So let's... We also need to set up and get our O2 going. So let's get a little deeper. And let's come back for that. I see a big rock over here. Wow, this is like rich with stuff to pick. And Promethium stones everywhere. Okay, so I know... Well, this is obviously the way to do it. Jump in the ocean on the alien planet start, if you're going to do the alien planet start on my scenario. <laughs> now, I don't know if we're protected from acid rain, so... But let's get down by this rock here, and we can um, set up. 
the setup. Now I did raise second level, right? Oh, can't I not pick that? No? No? Okay. Whatever. Uh, Promethium sewn right there. Oh, and one buried. Oh, okay. That's fun. That's always fun. We'll set up here. So let's throw our... Get this down. We'll just put everything into it for now. Now, did we actually raise to second level? Oh, we're third level. Almost fourth. Okay, so let's learn portable constructor. all we're going to learn right now. We'll just learn that. And get that made. Go into our survival constructor. Get the portable constructor made. We can eat this. And we'll be able to start making a ton of energy bars. So I think that's next. And we'll take some of this oxygen. Might as well just grab it all. Okay, well that's crafting. Let's, um, what's our weight weight like? Uh, we don't have a lot to spare. So we'll just, let's pick some stuff as this crafts. Nice. Okay. All right, can't pick that one. That's fine. Uh, should I risk going for the stone? It might be too heavy. Let's do it anyway. Takes a while. Well, this isn't a bad start. We haven't died. Although I don't know if creatures are spawning. I guess we'll find out next episode, eh? <laughs> so... Is that ready yet? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Here, let's eat that. Bring that over. Bring that over. Put that down. Here, we'll just finish this off really quick so that we can put that into the... Or, you know what? Let's place it down first. Let's just think if I drop it, then... Come on. Okay. Dump everything into it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to dump all this into it, too. Here, we'll take one of those and heal right up. Dump that in. We'll keep this on us so that we can keep manufacturing um, energy bars. Or protein bars, whatever they are. Okay, so we'll finish this off here. And I guess we'll call it an episode. So we've got our little camp going. I think what I'll do is off camera I'll probably swim around and collect a whole bunch more seaweed and pataxid and prometheum and maybe a bunch of rocks and stuff. Um, and we could probably make another O2. You know what? We could, we could probably make a water generator. Let's do that. Yeah, get some get some water going. That'll then we can make O2 bottles, or we can make purified water with it, which then we can convert to little uh, emergency O2. And what else will we need to make? We'll need fuel. So let's get uh, make 20 promethium cells, and we'll keep going collecting. How's our O2? Is we're out. Okay, so how's this doing? And oh, we'll just take it. That's fine. That's fine. We're doing okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to collect this rock here. And then we'll call it an episode. Because it has a Promethium stone underneath it. 
Although this rock kind of does mark where my... Eh, it doesn't matter. I can put a marker. I'll put a marker down. I can't get lost. Nice. Well, we're living. We're living. And, oh, you can see I've got a rad built up. Ooh. So the countdown is on. Because if, if that reaches the one full rad, I'll start getting sick. If I have no way of getting rid of that. i got to make a shower. Or something else. I can make meds to get rid of it, I think. Well... As the sun goes down. Did it literally disappear with... Did I just get ripped off? No rocks at all from it? You're kidding me, right? <laughs> well, I'll come grab this one then. Yeah, it happens. This one's small, a little. It'll pop fast. There we go. We don't need much anyway. We just need enough to make the uh, carbon substrate. And we should be too deep for critters. So, and there's the Prometheum. The sun just went down. I think what I'll do is I'll put that in there. I can put that in there. That's making fuel. Let's grab that and that. And what I want to do is put this down. And do I fill it right up? Probably not. Probably not. Let's just let's just get one in there right now. Well, you know what? Let's let's get two. It's just I won't be able to carry a lot of water. That's the problem, right? So I'll have to leave it in it. Grab that and that, and we'll let that run. We'll put one of those in so that it runs quite a while. And now I think we'll call it an episode and sleep for the night. Well, guys, thanks for joining me. Next episode. Oh, I just killed that Prometheum stone with my tent. Really? Bl bloody hell. There's more. Just <laughs> Whoops. So don't do that. <laughs> okay, guys. Till next episode. You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.